Hello everyone, how's it going? MacMan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite ways to customize your Mac. This includes desktop wallpapers, customizing your dock, and other sorts of things like that. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first way to customize your Mac is wallpapers. Now there are millions of wallpapers out there on the web, and sometimes it can be a bit tricky to find which ones you like. So I've put together a few of my favorite websites that I like to use for wallpapers. Now the first wallpaper website I'd like to show you guys is Wallbase. Wallbase is loaded with tons of wallpapers that you can choose from. You can go to the random, global top list, or search for some right in the search bar, such as cars. Here they've put together tons of car wallpapers that might suit your liking. The next website I'm going to be showing you guys is iconpaper.org. Not only do they have wallpapers, but they also have cool things like bow tie skins, docks, icons, icon sets, and OSX themes. If you'd like to look for some wallpapers, we can easily select the wallpapers section. Here we can browse through cool wallpapers and then select the link to download to download the wallpaper. Now the last wallpaper website I'm going to be showing you guys is iGraphic.ca. I personally made this website, and I constantly upload cool wallpapers that I find all around the web. Once going onto the website, you can find different folders, such as Apple, Scenery, Plants, Water Scenes, Landscape, and much more. You can easily select the folder and browse through tons of wallpapers in that genre. Now currently, my website is under construction, but you can still download wallpapers from just selecting the photos. Now the next thing that I think about when customizing your Mac is docks and icons. Candy Bar is a great application to customize these things. I use it to customize my docks. You can download docks from websites such as iconpaper.org. They have tons of docks and icons to choose from. All you have to do is just select use this dock, type in your password, and then you're good to go. For icons, you can just drag and drop them onto your application that you'd like to change the icon for. Then once again, type in your password and you're good to go. Now sometimes when using this application, you'll notice that your icons haven't changed yet. 99% of the time you have to restart your Mac for the icon change to take place. Now the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys is Geek Tool. Geek Tool is a free application that you can find in the Mac App Store. It allows you to add cool things such as clocks, pictures, and other sorts of things like that right onto your desktop. As you can see in the top left hand corner of my screen, I have the month, the weekday, and the day. You can add cool things like this and even clocks with Geek Tool. You can also add images and files right onto your desktop. If you are wondering how to do something like this, I do have a video already on it, so I'll post it in the description below where you can go check it out and make a cool creative clock just like this one. Well, that's pretty much it for the video. These are my top favorite ways to customize your Mac. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video.